Okay, so we're going to create a basic system call. First thing we want to do is become root again and navigate to the directory that we downloaded our, or rather extracted our kernel source to. Now we're going to be editing two files in the main kernel source and the make file. If we take a look at our kernel version, we can see we are compiled and, and uh, running in 3.3.8. First we want to go to the system call table. It's in architecture x86 syscalls and then syscall32.tbl. If you open that file, you'll see one entry for every single syscall. It has a number associated with it, it has an architecture, and then it has names. So we're going to make ours the next number in the list, 349. We're going to make it called opsyscall. Now we have to have both the name for the syscall and the name for the function that we're going to be using to implement the syscall. By convention, we first put sys in front of the name for the actual function. Once we've edited the syscall table, we want to edit the syscalls.h header file from the kernel, which is include Linux syscalls.h. We're just going to go ahead and go to the very bottom of this. And we want to insert our new prototype right before the end if. So this is where the prototype for our function goes. I'm going to have this syscall just take a string and print it to the uh, syslog file. So I'm going to declare it as ASM linkage, returns along. It's called sysopsyscall. This has to match what we put in the syscall table. And it takes a constant character pointer. Now that we've edited the two major files, we want to go ahead and create the implementation of our system call. So I'm going to create a new folder called opsyscall and go in and edit a C file in there. You can call that whatever you want, so I'm going to call mine syscall.c. I'm going to include two headers. The first is kernel.h, which gives us access to print k and the kernel alert macro and things like that. And the second one is syscalls.h, which obviously has the prototype that we just put in there. This is going to be very simple. Actually, we declare one single function that matches the exact prototype that we put into the uh, syscalls.h file. And this is what gets called when we call our system call from user space. And we're going to have that call print k and just print whatever test is to a test file. And we return 0, say that there was no error. And this is the implementation of our system call. Very, very straightforward. Now, the next thing we want to do is create some make files. So we want to create a make file for this particular system call. So we go into that directory, create a make file, and all we're going to do is add the object that is created from the C file to the list of uh, objects which are compiled into the kernel. So this is what this objy syscall.o is. And the syscall.o, just like the kernel module, has to match the same as your C file. So my C file has to be called syscall.c. And then we need to edit the actual kernel make file in the base directory of your kernel and look for the core y line. This lists the directories it's going to look for to compile things into the core. So we're going to add the directory op syscall to it. And then we're going to run a make. And it's going to have to recompile quite a bit, so we're going to skip to the end here. Since we did edit the syscalls.h file that's included by a lot of things, we have to remake a lot of it. And once it's finally done, we do a make install which copies over the new kernel build and then we do a reboot so that we can get into this new kernel build. Once you've rebooted, we can create a user space program to test our system call. Now this is even more straightforward. We just want to we want to include unistandard.h which gives us access to the syscall function and we need to remember that number that we used for a syscall. Syscall function takes two arguments. The first one is the number of the syscall, 349, and the next one is a variable length. And what we have here is the string that we were going to pass to our syscall. Now if your syscall has three or four arguments, you can just list them out here because it is a variable length. Simple user space program, compile it up here, and then run it. So this should have called the system call in the kernel, which print our test message to the var syslog file. So we're going to run as root so that we can check that file. And we do see that it print. And that's basically compiling a system call into the kernel.